you're probably aware that there are habits that can accelerate your wealth journey or that can slow it down. Well, today we're going to talk about eight habits that lead to true wealth. So the first habit for true wealth, and that's wealth that is maintained over time, but it also is wealth that is good for your soul. Number one is automation. And the advantage of automation is that it ensures that you are consistent in your savings, consistent in your investing. And so if you forget, if you go out of town, the money is still working on your behalf. It prevents you from spending frivolously and helps you to reach your goals faster. Number two, planning. It takes your wealth journey out of the dream state and lays out a map for you on where you want to go and how you intend to get there. It also helps to keep you focused and to prioritize. Is the priority to get out of debt or to save for a down payment for a home or save for college for you or for your children. It may also help you to determine if additional money is needed in order to meet those goals. Number three, reducing or eliminating debt altogether. This habit helps you over time to save money or invest money that you normally would have paid to a debtor. This habit also has psychological effects. I mean, it's exciting. You feel good. Your self-esteem grows when you see that what you owe is shrinking slowly but surely. Number four, maintaining good health. And this is an important one. It's an important habit for enjoying life, enjoying finances, and enjoying the fruit of all your hard work. But not only that, there are other monetary benefits from having a habit of maintaining health. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, in 2019, the average household spent about $4,500 on medical prescriptions. Now that's in total because a lot of that is covered by insurance companies. But have you checked out insurance premiums lately? Not only that, but getting in the habit of just moving, physical activity can be beneficial not only physically, but also it can be beneficial financially. Over $117 billion is spent each year on diseases that are often linked to physical inactivity. And this includes illnesses such as heart disease, diabetes, and even some forms of cancer. Number five, getting in the habit of getting adequate sleep. According to an article by healthline.com, when you don't get enough sleep, you're subject to moodiness, mental fatigue, fogginess, weakened immune system, weight gain, and increased exposure to serious lifestyle diseases like high blood pressure and diabetes. Number six, getting in the practice of giving and helping others. Whether that's paying tithes and offerings to your church, or if that involves helping charitable organizations, that if done sincerely, there are benefits to the giver. The Cleveland Clinic released an article. And in that article, they stated helping others actually releases feel good chemicals in the body and lowers blood pressure. Not only that, but it combats depression, reduces cortisol, stress hormones in our bodies. Number seven, getting in the habit of continuously learning. And that includes reading books about finance. Even if you think you have a good basic understanding of financial principles, it is useful to keep learning. 
technology changes, the economy changes. Also helps you to always have marketable skills and have your finger on the pulse of what is going on in the world around you. Global opportunities for investments or for investments in new businesses that are based on new technology. It's always good to understand what is it that I'm investing in. And finally, number eight, getting in the habit of investing in loving relationships now, not when you become a millionaire, not when you get it all together, but right now ensures a wonderful legacy of love. And really, isn't that what we're doing all this for, for ourselves and for those that we love in our own households and in our own communities? These are eight habits for true wealth. Wealth that's not just limited to money, but that will help you mentally, spiritually, and physically. I also enjoy this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you.